Peplink Fusion SIM is the name of the technology that enables a Peplink router to access SIM cards outside of its integrated SIM slots. Essentially, you have a router at one site with SIM cards attached via a SIM injector. Using Fusion SIM, you can connect this router to another Peplink router at a remote site as if that SIM was physically in the same location. Requirements include a Peplink SIM injector connected to a compatible router that is accessible via a publicly routable IP address at UDP port 50,000. Note that this port can be changed if needed. In our example today, we're using a Peplink Balance 20X as our main router, which is a SIM injector mini connected via LAN. We're using a Peplink Max BR1 Pro 5G to provide the Balance 20X with an internet connection. So because it's behind a NAT, we have to apply a port forwarding rule on the BR1 Pro. Here's a quick look at how that's configured. If you need help setting up port forwarding on your Peplink router or other router, check out our channel for more how-to videos. In our port forwarding rule, we have the protocol set to UDP with a single port of 50,000, and it's set to use our cellular WAN connection. Then we have the IP address we've reserved for the balance router so that it doesn't change. Next, we'll go to the Balance 20X and enable the Fusion SIM agent. This is done under the support.cgi page. Simply change the URL where it says index.cgi to support.cgi and hit enter. Scroll down until you see Fusion SIM agent and click to configure. Check the enable box and change the port if needed, then click save. Go back to the index.cgi page and apply the changes. Now we need to log into the SIM injector and confirm its data port matches what we have set for the Fusion SIM agent. Default is 50,000, so you can skip this if you have not changed it. At this point, we need to connect to the Fusion SIM settings. Go to fsc.peplink.com and log in with your Peplink ID. Select or enter in the provider you will be using to start. The dashboard page should now load. Go to platforms on the left and add the SIM injector. For network setup, we're going to select Use Custom IP Address and enter in the public IP address from our BR1 Pro router. Again, we'll use the same data port as the Fusion SIM agent. Under SIM Inventory, you should see all SIM injector available SIM cards, but it will be listed as unusable, no contract. Click SIM Contracts and add one. Make sure you select the proper country. Then click on the newly created contract name and add SIM cards to it. Added SIM cards will become green and available to use like shown here. Refer to the Fusion SIM menu and click Distribution Rules. Add one here. Click on the newly created rule name and add contract to it. When done, click Save and it should look like this. Next, click Subscriptions and add one. Once created, click on the newly added subscription name and add the distribution rule to it. Finally, it's time to add a remote device that will receive the Fusion SIM. In our case, we're going to add our UBR+. Click on Devices and add the serial number of the remote device. Note that if GPS is not available, then add the proper manual location and save the settings. After a few minutes, the device should come online. At this time, we will click on its serial number and assign the subscription to it. At the remote device, we also need to confirm it is set to connect to a remote SIM. Log into its web administration page and click on the cellular connection. In the details window, scroll down to cellular settings and find the SIM card setting. This should be set on custom selection with remote SIM checked only. If everything was set up correctly, the remote device should receive the SIM card via Fusion SIM and the cellular link should appear on the platform as shown here. 
You can also click on the cellular one button here and we can view its connection and link details. That sums up the instructions for setting up Fusion SIM. We hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. For more videos like this, we welcome you to hit the subscribe button.